Hello, honors algebra. Mr. Lawrence here with your next flip lesson. The previous flip lesson was on the uh, the distance formula, which was a big, ugly formula, but realized that it was something pretty simple. Today's formula is the midpoint formula, which is kind of weird to look at. Oops, I guess if I write it wrong, it makes it even more challenging. That's x plus 1, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2, and then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. Now again, I don't want you to worry about this formula right now. I want you to look at the simplicity of this. And let's just go real basic here for a minute. Let's see if we can find the midpoint of the segment AB from A to B. The midpoint of that segment. Well, most of you could say, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six units long. So the middle of the segment must be where it's three units long, right? That would be the midpoint. Some of you would even see that, hey, if I have the middle of 7, 1, if I do 7 plus 1 and I cut it in half, in other words, average it, I would get uh, 4. And look at this. 1, 2, excuse me, 1, 2, 3, 4. I got it. The x coordinate is at 4. Of course, the y coordinate has to be at 7. But all I did was average the x's. 1 plus 7 divided by 2. And that got me the x coordinate of the midpoint. The y coordinate was obvious. Let's take a look at segment AC, this segment here. And again, most of you could say, well, let's see here. The segment is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units long. So the midpoint must be two and a half units from each point, A and C. One, two and a half should be right there. And most of you are smart enough to realize, oh, the coordinates of that point would be one, one, two, three, four and a half. Well, check this out. X coordinate's gonna be one. The Y coordinates are two and seven. If I average two and seven, what do I get? 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. And so that's 4 and 1 half. And those are the coordinates right there. Uh, I didn't actually write them in here. I should have written 4 and 7. Well, let's see how this looks with segment AD. Okay, and segment AD will be this segment here. And to make it stand out a little bit differently, I'll change its color. Okay, yeah, line style, I'll, I'll make it that green segment with a lovely shade of green. Now, it's not so easy to tell the distance here, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to average the x's, and then I'm going to average the y's. And that's what this formula is saying, average the x's, average the y's. So my X coordinates, remember I'm doing AD, so the X coordinates are 1 and 9, so I'm going to go 1 plus 9 and divide by 2. And then the Y coordinates are 7 and 3, and I'm going to divide by 2 because I'm averaging. And when I do that, I'm going to get 5. 5. Now let me plot the point 5, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, look at that. Does your eye tell you that this part of the line segment and that part of the line segment are equal? It should. I can prove it if I need to, but the distance formula shows it for me. All right. So now, given any two points, you know how to find the distance and the middle of the segment. So let's do both. All right, I'm going to give you point A, and I'm going to make it at the coordinates negative 3, 8, and point B is going to be at 7, uh, uh, negative 1. Okay, first I'll do the distance formula. So I'll subtract my x's, negative 3 minus 7, I have to square it, right? I'm going to 
subtract my y's, which would be 8 plus 1, square that, and then I'll take the square root of it. Okay, so it's going to equal the square root of 100 plus 81. So rad of 181. Okay. And I'm going to go to my calculator and get a decimal approximation for that. I'm having a little technical. Okay, you can see that the decimal approximation to the hundredths place is 13 and 45 hundredths. And I punched that while I was paused. Let me get my airliner back on and running here. And so D will equal, what's well, approximately equal to, sorry, 13 and 45 hundredths. So that's the distance. What's the midpoint of segment AB? Well, for that I need to average the x's, which would be negative 3 plus 7 divided by 2. And I need to average the y's. 8 plus negative 1 divided by 2. And this has a mistake here. There we go. All right. So negative 3 plus 7 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 8 plus negative 1 is negative 7, excuse me, is 7, 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half. I feel like I made a mistake there, with 7 over 2, 3 and a half, no, I think I'm good. Now, let me see what that looks like visually, all right? So, I need a little graph here, bring it on over. Okay, put my origin in, put the x-coordinate, uh, the x-axis and the y-axis labeled. Okay, let's see, point A's coordinates is at negative 3, 8. 1, 2, 3, and all the way up to 8 right there. So that's point A. All right, point B's coordinates were at 7, negative 1. So 7, 9, 8, 7, negative 1 is B. I'll draw in that segment. Now, let me just do my right triangle thing here to see uh, if my answer of 13 or 45 hundredths makes sense. So I'm going to make a right triangle, like so. And I know that the longest side of the right triangle is the hypotenuse, right? And look at, let's see how long this side is. Here's my right angle. Okay, the longest side has to be right across from the right angle. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine units long. And this one, the horizontal side is 1, 2, 3. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And if I do the Pythagorean theorem on that, sure enough, I'm going to get about... 13 and 45 hundredths. I can see I'm going to have 81 here. I'm going to have 100, and look, I've got 81 and 100 in there. And I take the square root. So I'm feeling really good about this answer. Now, I think the center, or the midpoint of this segment, I should say, is at 2, 3 and a half. Let's count over 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 and a half. And look at that. I split the segment equally in two. All right, very good. I'm um, going to keep this lesson a little shorter. The midpoint is really simple. All you have to do for the midpoint is average the x-coordinates. And then you average the y-coordinates. All right, and there you go. All right, Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.